Haloperidol, commonly known as Haldol. It is an antipsychotic and a tranquilizer. Uh, the way it works, it inhibits the central nervous system catecholamine receptors, mostly antidopaminergic, and it also has some anticholinergic effects. So it does alter the dopamine in our brain. It has some strong antiemetic effects and impairs thermal regulation as well, so we have to be mindful of that. Pregnancy class for it is C. Indications, uh, the main thing we're going to be using it for is acute psychotic episodes requiring chemical restraint, where for whatever reason they're just going nuts and can't control them. Contraindications, Parkinson's disease is a big one, and that has to do with it uh, affecting dopamine in the brain, so we don't want to give it to any both Parkinson's. And then agitation from other sources, you know, if they're in shock or hypoxic and they're uh, angry or confused or whatever from a different source that we can correct. So we want to watch for those as well and try to correct those other forms of altered mental status. Adverse reactions, seizures, it lowers the seizure threshold so we can have seizures with it. Uh, dystonic reactions where that's kind of like an allergic reaction but it causes like jerking, involuntary movements in the arm and legs, arms and legs usually. Uh, it can also cause CNS depression, orthostatic hypotension, nausea, vomiting, and then some QT prolongation as well. Drug interactions, uh, it kind of potentiates other CNS depressants and alcohol, so we want to watch for that. It can really knock out someone's central nervous system uh, if they're already taking other stuff. And it can also cause some hypotension. Haldol also antagonizes amphetamines and epinephrine, so you can be mindful of that. Uh, adults, typical dosing is going to be 2 to 5 milligrams IM, and the reason we're giving that IM is because we're trying to restrain somebody. We have to go in there, give them IM, and then get out of there and wait for it to take effect. We're not going to have time to be able to start IVs and do all that fun stuff. Uh, pediatrics, usually we don't give this for the kids. Duration, uh, onset is about 10 minutes, peak effects in 30 to 45 minutes, and then it can last in the body for a very long time, up to a day in the body. So uh, it's not exactly a real fast-acting drug, but it does work for a long time. Something to keep in mind with it is the dystonic, dystonic reactions. They're pretty common, so be ready to give uh, Benadryl, diphenhydramine, to combat that if necessary once the patient has relaxed and you're able to restrain them appropriately.